Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. This week, by popular demand, we're going to be reviewing this tow vehicle. It's the Ford Ranger Wild Track. If you want to know more about this huge pickup truck, then stay with me and join me after this. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. So here we have it, the Ford Ranger Wild Track. This is the pickup that most people requested we reviewed and we've managed to obtain one. So thank you very much to Ford. So let's have a look at some facts and figures. What are we getting for the money? This model has the two litre bi-turbo engine and it's going to deliver 213 brake horsepower, which is quite a lot of power. It's naught to 60 is nine seconds. And what about the all important curb weight? This vehicle's weighing in at 2,246 kilos, so just over 2.2 tonnes, which will make a great tow car for the caravans. The payload on this is just over one tonne or 1,000 kilos, and it'll take you to a gross vehicle mass of 3,270 kilos. The Ford Ranger Wild Track can actually tow up to three and a half tonnes with its fixed tow bar and that tow bar is going to be able to take a nose weight of up to 225 kilos. So it's going to be able to tow pretty much anything. You may be wondering with all that capability, how much is it? And that's always the important bit for us. This is 38,000 pounds on the road. So that's fairly well priced. The one we're reviewing today does have a couple of extras. That's the burnt orange paintwork, the tow bar, it's also got a pullover cover on the back and those extras take it up to just over £43,000. So let's have a look around and see a bit more. We'll start obviously at the front. We get LED lights, we get fog lights. And what I particularly like on the front grille is the honeycomb effect. I really like that. As I said, this is Sabre Orange, which is a £700 extra. There are other colours available. We'll come down the near side of the car now and let's have a further look down here. As we come down, we can see we've got these whopping 18 inch wheels and we've got mud and snow tyres fitted on this model. These are Continental tyres that it's supplied with on this new 2019 model. We have here the large wing mirrors. You probably are going to need mirrors if you're towing a caravan. These are electrically operated. As we come down further, we see the Ford side sills. And what I like about these is these are genuine steps to clamber in and out. And I found that quite useful being fairly short because this is a big vehicle. Some vehicles only come with tubular sills, which are neither use nor ornament generally, but these are extremely practical. So I'm pleased about that. We'll head further back. Now this vehicle altogether is 5.3 meters in length, so it's huge. Coming back, we've got the double cab and we'll look inside shortly, but there's plenty of room for five adults in this vehicle. We've got the tinted windows, which are a nice feature. And then we get to the all important bit, the back end of the wild track. So what we'll do is we'll fire around here and have a closer look. So here we are at the back of the wild track. And what I really like is Ford have obviously put some thought into the back of this truck. Unlike some that simply seem to be more focused on the front, it's also going on at the back end here. As I say, this one has the mountain top roller, which is 1500 pounds. Great for keeping all your things clean and dry while in transport, such as your air awnings or chairs and tables. The back on this one opens here. And it's not overly heavy. Sometimes on pickups, these can be very heavy, whereas Ford seem to have managed to nail it. So it's not that difficult to open and close. As you'd expect, we do have a, have a reversing camera. And this is here just under the Ford badge. What I like about this one is when you use it inside, you can also see the tow bar. And that for me is important when I'm reversing up to a caravan or trailer. 
As well as the camera, we also have rear reversing sensors and we've also got them at the front. So the vehicle's well covered all round. So despite its size, you should be fairly safe in car parks. The tow bar, we've got a fixed tow bar here. And as I said before, it's going to be able to tow three and a half tons with a nose weight of 225 kilos. So as it goes, the back end of the Ranger Wildtrak is really good looking. Let's head back around the off side and then we'll shoot inside to see what's on board in this cab. So here on the off side, no great difference to the near side. Again, we've got the wheels, we've got the side step, we've got the Wildtrak graphics and we have the Biturbo Honeycomb badge piece here. What we'll do next is have a look inside. And one thing this vehicle does come with is the keyless entry. So it's no problem getting in and getting started. So we're in the cab of the Wildtrak and I like it. We've got leather seats. We've got Wildtrak embossed on them. We've got the leather dashboard, steering wheel and gear stick. In terms of the gearbox, this is automatic and gives you 10 speed. It's also four wheel drive is the vehicle. So we do have a control for two high, four high and four low. We have heated seats. We've got a heated front and rear windscreen and we've got air conditioning. Importantly, we have got a touchscreen satellite navigation system here. It is easy to use. Even I haven't gone wrong with it. And from here, we can also operate the climate controls if you don't want to reach down here and be distracted using them here. For the driver, we've got the speedometer in miles and kilometers per hour. And there's also a digital display which shows other information about the vehicle. There's electric windows, electric mirrors, and all the other gadgets you're probably going to want. We've got a cup holder here. So when you go and get your brew, you can bob it in there. Overall, the cab is a nice experience. It mixes well between the pickup truck and the practical side and also a large SUV. So for 38,000, the interior does meet the money. So that's the inside of the wild track. I think what we need to do next though is hit the road and take it for a test drive. So Jules, it's over to you. So thanks for that Karina and it's over to me. Well, how have I found it? I get the fun part. I get to do it without towing and I just get to drive it as you would as an everyday vehicle. How have I found it as an everyday vehicle? I've got to be honest, absolutely fantastic. It's comfortable. Let's start from the inside. So the seating, the seating, it hugs me. Lumbar support, it's adjustable. It's, yeah, it's absolutely it. What you'd expect to find from a top of the range offering from Ford, the Ford Wildtrak. Oh, okay, apart from the Raptor and other special editions, but where we're at, this is the top of the range. So uh, yeah, happy with that. The driver's seat is fully adjustable, electric. I think the passenger seat has less options. So that's something to be aware of and something for consideration. I've driven this now on a whole host of roads. I've driven it on A roads, B roads, motorways, dual carriageways, and as you can see here, country lanes and I found it really, really good. The driving itself, it's very responsive. It is a pickup truck, and as always, it gives you a great view and a commanding view of the road. Great visibility through the wing mirrors. They're nice and big, so you can see all around you, and also the privacy glass in the back, you've got 360 degree view, field of view, which is fantastic. Like I say, when we're talking about the ride itself, it is a pickup and without anything in the back you can feel a bit of spring in the back but to overcome that you just need to load the back up and it is an everyday vehicle the cab feels like an suv it feels like a car it doesn't feel agricultural it feels really really nice so i'm really really pleased with this and I, i've been wanting to do the wild track review so i'm so happy to be able to have the opportunity to do it the infotainment system, <laughs> it's the best I've seen. Um, it's quite simple. There is a cruise control, which is automatic, which you can basically, you can set the increments 
so you can set the distance between the vehicle in front of you say you set the speed at 70 mile an hour on the motorway if you're not towing and you can then increase or decrease the distance you want so you can almost have like the two second rule distance between you and the car in front if they break then it will break so really really good it also has automatic cameras for speed limits and signage so it'll give you a little sign in the in the corner where your fuel gauge is saying you've entered a 40 mile an hour zone and if you've got the speed limiter set it'll drop you to the 40 mile an hour zone so no matter how far you put your foot down it won't go above 40 unless you go into kick down and then it'll override it but it's a great little feature just so that if you do miss a sign you know exactly where you're meant to be so safety features they are always always got to be top of the game and they are in here there's an automatic collision avoidance system uh, it's got parking sensors all around all the little things that you'd come to expect it has and it delivers really really well so like here I'm coming into a 30 mile an hour zone I've got it set and I'm doing 30 mile an hour bang on the nose that's me with my foot almost to the floor, still doing 30 mile an hour and taking it back off now and it'll drop down below 30. You probably can't tell, but it is doing it and it works seamlessly. The infotainment system, now this is a game changer for me because it has voice recognition for everything in there. So you can set a dist, I'll show you. If I press this, Please say a command. Navigation. Navigation. Please say a command. Find an address. Please say the house number and the street, followed by the town in the United Kingdom, or say enter postcode to search for a postcode. To search in another country, say change country. I'm not going to do all that. However, it has it, so you can actually do stuff hands free and set your navigation so again keeping you sturdily on the on the steering wheel and your attention focused so a really good system so we've covered the bits that i wanted to cover so we've got the safety we've got the ride the handling and everything else we've covered the engine is fantastic plenty of grunt goes when you ask it to delivers what you need it to um, the privacy glass i love the roll cab, I'm actually growing to love that as well. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, but I do like it because you can actually pull it at different stages and it'll stop and leave the bed open if you so wish, if you have larger items. So that's me covered. So thank you very much for that little uh, bit that I wanted to cover in just normal driving and I will pass you back to Karina. So if you're looking at purchasing a wild track for towing, the question is how well does it tow? If you go down to your local Ford dealership for a test drive, you're probably not going to get the opportunity to hitch up your caravan or trailer. But thanks to Ford, we're able to do that for you. So how does it tow? Very well. This vehicle is designed for towing and carrying weight. If you're thinking of purchasing this, as an everyday vehicle, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, if you want a nice steady ride, you're going to need about 30 kilos over that axle in the back. And that's because without it, it will bounce along like a kangaroo. It will do that because it's designed to carry load. We've put our Van Gogh awning in the back and that's made it a really nice ride. We've hitched up our caravan our caravan weighs 1,750 kilos and we're currently out towing with it. So how does it tow? The reversing camera is excellent. I was able to reverse back with the tow ball in clear sight under the hitch, which makes life a lot easier. When we connected up the 13 pin electrics, it stopped the reversing sensors noise, which is the most annoying thing I find with our Sanyong because it's not wired up to turn those off. So we've hitched up and headed off. The engine delivers the power, it's excellent. There's no lag, there's no effort in towing such a big caravan. 
The brakes work extremely well. It stops it very well for the roundabouts and junctions. Overall, I'm very pleased with how it does tow. You can feel the caravan on the back, of course you can. And at times, I have found it a little bouncy. Those leaf springs, they do their job, but they can be a little bouncy, more so than maybe the Amarok. So let's just have a little think about this wild track. 38,000 on this model, and with the extras fitted to this, it's taking it up to 43 and a half. So if we took the base model without the couple of extras at 38, it represents excellent value for money. The, it's, it's enjoyable to drive. The two litre engine gives you that throttly noise due to the twin turbos. And I must say, it does tow well. The things for me that I would be concerned about is the amount of bounce on a long journey and also the fuel economy. I'm delivering around 26 miles to the gallon, which that's okay. But then when I'm not towing, we're getting around 29. And that to me is quite a low miles to the gallon, especially with the mileage we do. But all being said, the wild track certainly lives up to expectations. I think we need to have a quick summary back at the site. So I'll head to the site with the Adria and we'll see you there. So there we have it. The Ford Ranger Wildtrak 2 litre by turbo. What's the conclusion? What do we think? For me, I love the exterior. I love the styling, the wheels, the colour. Inside, I love the leather, I love the layout, the sat nav, the display, the heated seats, the level of equipment. For 38,000, fantastic. There's just one thing, the ride. When towing, the bounce for me is just too much. On a motorway, it's fine. Anything else, and I've not particularly enjoyed towing with it, if I'm absolutely honest. On the other hand though, Jules has loved this truck. He has absolutely loved it. He says he would buy one tomorrow. So that's what we found with the wild track, the towing, the driving, and how we've got along with it. If you're interested in buying one of these, I suggest you either go to the Ford website or go to a local dealer and take one for a test drive and see what you think. So as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.